So children, I am going to discuss the pattern of 2023 board paper for physics subjects. This pattern will be followed by class 11th teacher and 12th teacher to form or frame the question paper. So this is a specimen paper of 2023 which is released by the council and it is uh, available at the council site. The paper is divided into four sections A, B, C and D and you have to answer all the questions. Now observe the question paper carefully. In section A we are having 14 questions and each question carries one mark. So total section A carries 14 marks. Now you can see this section is uh, objective type. Just observe the questions. I will make this uh, PDF available on my Instagram channel and the link will be given in description box. Just observe the questions. Total 14 questions. And all are objective questions. You just have to take the correct option. Seven questions were objective type and seven questions are in which either one line or one word is required as the answer. Now let's see section B. Section B is of 14 marks, seven questions and each question carries two marks. So seven into two, 14 marks. Now observe here, in this section, you will have options, you will, you will have choice in two questions. But both the questions will be of same topic. For example, here, two marks question, that means there will be a short answer type questions. Like you are provided with many identical capacitors, each 100 microfarad. How will you connect a minimum number of them to obtain a capacitance of 75 microfarad? So here you need to calculate it, right? And draw the diagram in support of your answer. Either you opt this question or you opt this question from the same topic capacitor. Three point charges of 15 nano coulomb each are kept at the vertices of equilateral triangle having each side equal to 3 meter. Calculate electrostatic potential energy of the system. So you can see that here you are having choice but from the same topic. Then again here observe with reference of free electron theory of conductor define and you need to define uh, drift velocity and state any one use of potentiometer two questions two marks right so again actually you are having one one marks question you need to answer in one line or in two line maximum and in this question why blue color spark is often seen in a switch when a circuit containing an electric iron or geyser is switched off that means they are asking why a spark like welding is observed in the switch when it is put on or off but that answer also you have to write in maximum two lines it is two marks question so you must know that how much uh, lines or how much content is required in a particular question if it is two marks question now in question number five again they are giving you option in two questions and both questions are from magnetism this question also and this question also then question number six question number seven you can see two questions two marks right and ray diagram for formation of primary rainbow two marks so you just need to draw the ray diagram with proper labeling question number eight semiconductor say here depletion region and potential barrier this is very very important this year i also expecting this question from the semiconductor diode or semiconductor two definitions two marks now come to section C, it carries 27 marks, 9 questions and each question carries 3 marks. Obtain expression of electric field, so it's a derivation, right? This is a numerical. Now from the current electricity, you are having choice, this question or from the same topic, this question, you can attempt any of these two. Now observe, the earlier two questions were numerical, but in 11th question, again you are having a derivation. Then Huygens wave theory, you need to write two, three points of the wave theory and then Snell's law uh, or Snell's law of refraction that you have to prove. So this is again, this question is little, uh, you can say longer in comparison to the marks given to it, that is three. 
and question number 13 is again a derivation related with the prism these two questions are from this is from magnetism and these two questions are from optics now in optics you again have a choice either you derive the expression for prism or you derive lens makers formula so two questions will be there in which you will have a choice then question number 14 again long answer question 15 long answer question 16 and 17 long answer question now come to the last section that is section d it carries 15 marks three questions each question carries five marks in this section in all the three questions you will have a choice for example in question number 18 you are having five questions of five marks either you select this one this is from ac or you select this one this is from electromagnetic induction same way in question number 19 one question is from modern physics and nuclear physics finding energy and Bohr's theory these two are from modern physics and nuclear physics either you attempt this question or from the same Bohr's theory you can attempt this question nuclear physics question so the two questions are from the same topic modern physics and nuclear physics modern physics and nuclear physics these are long answer type questions and from the now onwards you will have a question which will have a paragraph and the questions based on that paragraph but you will not get the uh, answer of these questions from this paragraph only this paragraph is just relating the questions with the uh, topic but the answers you must know by reading your by preparing your topic like this question is from optics optical instruments and here whatever is given you if you read this and you read the questions you will not find the answer directly in this uh, paragraph as you have in unseen passage of english here you need to answer these questions based on your memory and the knowledge of the topic so this is your pattern in section a you will have 14 questions one mark each in section b you will have 14 marks total section and each question seven questions each question carry two marks so it is again very short type answer but in third section section c you will have total 27 marks allotted to the third section section c and you will have nine questions with three marks and these will be long answer type questions and in section d you will again have long answer type questions three questions each of five marks in section b section c section d you will have choice only question number 20 which is having paragraph this question is not having uh, the choice but rest of the two are having choice either attempt this or attempt this so now carefully go through this question paper to know class 11th students also and 12th student also because class 11th do not have idea what will be the pattern of the question paper almost the same pattern will be followed by the class 11th teachers also to form your question paper